Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Bribe, and today I want to talk about uh, weighing staff priorities in Diablo 3. So for most classes, what's going to happen is your primary stat is going to take precedent over everything else. So in dealing damage, you're going to want to stack either strength, dexterity, or intelligence. Pretty straightforward, right? These stats right here. And from there, you want to go with crit chance. Crit chance is very, very important. Uh, it's going to be the high, definitely the second highest uh, modifier when it comes to dealing damage because um, why deal one type of damage when you can deal two times damage? Pretty straightforward. Um, from there, this is where it gets pretty controversial, but to me, this is this is kind of the, the order that it goes, okay? The third most important stat priority is going to be elemental skill damage equals critical hit damage but I would still weigh critical or sorry skill damage a little higher than critical hit damage just a little bit you know it depends on the item that it's on and how much it is but um, in most cases base damage will outweigh uh, critical hit damage um, but we'll move on from there uh, and after that you're gonna go with attack speed you know, obviously attack speed is on the lowest on the totem pole because it makes you attack faster but it doesn't actually increase your damage which is um, pretty much useless I'd say attack speed is the best stat for stacking uh, character sheet damage because uh, elemental skill damage doesn't actually increase that uh, elemental skill damage increases your uh, your actual effective damage so the best example I can use is, uh, let's just use an ability here, uh, Slash with Lightning. Let's say this swing here does 3.2 million damage, okay? And that's with this Waste Guard, so 6% increased attack speed. So when I equip this, and it's a Lightning skill as I mentioned, 15% increased Lightning skill damage, that's pretty good, right? So do I want to attack 6% faster and hit for 3.2 million, or do I want to equip this belt and hit for 4.2 million, or sorry, 4 million, because of the extra 15% increased damage. Pretty straightforward. I, I might lose character sheet DPS as you can see over here, but the effective damage that I deal much outweighs it. Now, if you want, let's just say, let's just say you want to, you know, show to your friends like, oh man, my DPS is so good. You can keep a set of gear that increases your effective, your, sorry, increases your, your character sheet DPS when you lock out. And then you can post on Diablo Progress or whatever and you know show your EP to your friends or whatever. And that, if that's hey, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. I'm not gonna judge you for that. But uh, if you don't have el effective or elemental damage, if you just straight up stack uh, the base trifecta stats, attack speed, critical strands, and uh, critical hit damage, you're gonna hit a gear wall around Torment 3, Torment 4, and you won't be able to progress any further unless your build is hella good with lots of CC. Um, and even then, Torment, you know, Torment 4 or 5, and definitely not Torment 6, but Torment 4 and 5 are going to be not very efficient. Torment 5 is going to be a struggle, and Torment 6 is going to be impossible. Um, so if we go to Elemental Damage, this, that's that's one thing. So there's one item that I really want to uh, really touch on. I don't want to take too much of your time here in this video. Uh, there's one thing I really want to touch on here in the Stone of Jordan. The Stone of Jordan, I, I know a lot of people who don't know much about the game probably see this item and they say, oh man, this item's crap. But um, let's just compare it to the Stolen Ring here. On the same ability, let's say the same slash attack, uh, goes from 3.2 million to 4 million with the belt, and then let's just say these two these two rings have the same strength or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to lose, you know, let's just say the 65 to 127 was 7% attack speed. I'm going to lose the attack speed, I'm going to lose the character sheet DPS, but I'm going to gain the extra 15% damage, 15 to 20% damage. So that 4 million is going to go up to, what, like 4.6, 4.8 damage, uh, depending. I'm going to lose a little bit of critical hit damage, um, and that's going to drop me from 461, let's just say, to 420, blaze it. Um, you know, and that's going to be a thing. Uh, but the thing is, is, this is the most important thing. This is probably the most important thing um, when it comes to effectively farming and getting gear is white mobs, white regular enemies mean nothing. Uh, it's all about champion mobs. Champion mobs are going to be the enemies that drop your loot, so you want to do as much damage to them as possible. You want to, you want to slay them as quickly as possible for efficiency. The more efficient you are in Diablo 3, the more gear you get. 
and that's just that's the only way like since everything is based on rng like loot the more efficient you are that is the only way you can control um the rng is just being more efficient and being able to do things quicker and that's pretty much how it goes so in order to do that you need to do more damage to elites because they are the majority of that's those are pretty much the majority of what's going to drop your legendaries um so what you do is you put on this ring the stone of jordan increases damage against elites by 30 percent you know that four million let's say four four point eight million damage you lose 30 percent crit damage you go down to 4.5 million damage per hit you put on this you do 30 percent more damage to elites and that 4.5 turns into 6 million. So just by putting on these two items here, let's just say if this was uh, lightning damage, just by putting on these two items, you've effectively doubled your damage against elite mobs, and that is what matters most. And that is effective stat weighing right there. It might not reflect it on your, on your character sheet DPS, but as I mentioned, you've doubled your damage, you've lost character sheet DPS, and that's all that matters. Effective damage over character sheet DPS, and if you follow these rules, and you have a decent build which I'll get into in another video if you follow these rules for effective damage over character sheet DPS you will definitely see an increase in uh, what form of difficulty you can do anyways guys thanks for sticking with me hope you enjoyed take care have fun slaying monsters peace out